क्या देख क्या तेंगे सूरा क्या तेंगे नो वन गो हेड कहीं तो खोर दला Okay, guard. Congrats on the win, man. Um, I'm sure this is a moment you've been envisioning for a little while during the layoff since you lost the, the, the belt to begin with. Um, how nice does it feel to, to finally be sitting up there again with that belt in front of you? Feels good. Feels good. Uh, tough opponent. I underestimated him in the beginning, maybe. Uh, but uh, he's in his prime. So beating him, I was more technically. That's why I beat him. But uh, this is a guy who is in his prime. It's difficult to put away, you know. So, yeah, I rather had a finish, but he wouldn't go away. After first round, I knew this guy is gonna stay for five. Was that the fight you were kind of expecting out of him? He seemed like he was trying to counter you a lot, kind of tentative at times. But he landed his shots sometimes. Yeah, I, maybe I could have gone a little bit more for takedowns, but uh, I felt that this guy is determined. You know, he, he came to fight. So once I was seeing, I was getting the upper hands in the rounds, and I wasn't taking a lot of damage. I was scoring my points. So I cruise to the victory. Um, so oh, you can always do better. Uh, not ha very happy with the performance, but uh, it's a win. I won all rounds against a prime welterweight champion. When you say that you cruise, do you, are you kind of like regretful that you did that? Did you wish that no, you did more? No, because it's, uh, he's tough. He's tough. <laughs> he's tough. Uh, he's difficult to finish. He's, he hasn't been finished for a long, long time. So I felt. I had to fight like this. It was necessary to get the win. And uh, he hit you with some good leg kicks there. How are your legs feeling after those? Uh, last round, he hurt me. Uh, I wasn't showing, uh, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I was. I'm, I would have gone limping if it would have gone a little bit longer. So, but uh, I knew uh, five rounds. I still, I stayed. I didn't show, and I kept fighting. And I know this one just got over, but before the fight, you said John Salter would probably be the the next test should you win. You, you still agree with that? Yeah, he's the next guy. Definitely uh, looking forward to that fight. All right, we'll go to our virtual media here. Uh, Santiago, go ahead. Okay, got Santiago here. Gefeliciteerd, Maat. What a prachtige performance. Yeah, top. Thank you, Alfred. Gegard, we spoke to each other on Monday and you told me that Lima was going to see the best Musashi possible. And it clearly showed tonight you were sharp and mixed your game up perfectly with the takedowns. In the first round, you got Lima to the ground. How close were you in finishing the fight right there? I think the first round uh, was good to set the, how the fight would go. So I uh, managed to put the, my game on him. He felt my power. He felt... So I could, I could, because of the first round, I was able to do that the uh, next four four rounds. So I think it was important to get the take on, do a little bit of damage, and um, set the tone of the fight. So that me going forward, me scoring, and so I think the first round was very important. Now that you have the belt back, Gegard, I can imagine that you would love to make a title defense in Amsterdam. Is that a short-term goal of yours to bring Bell Bellator to Holland with that fancy shiny title that you just won? Yeah, 100%. Uh, there were talk to go this year to Amsterdam, but of course with COVID, it, uh, it didn't happen. So whenever the COVID is finished and they come, I'm, I'm very happy to do that. Jay? Thanks very much. Giger, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, first of all, uh, dominant fight. Uh, you know, the leg kicks really seem to pile up in that last round. So how's the leg feeling right now? Yeah, now when I'm sitting, uh, I don't feel like I'm, I, I can get up. <laughs> So now it hurts like a motherfucker, but uh, in the fight, yeah, you're adrenaline, you're fighting, but I feel it right now. Definitely. And, uh, you know, Douglas was uh, doing something tonight that's kind of become a way to distinguish yourself from the other greats and go to that next level and trying to win a second title. You've talked about, you know, taking a run at the 205 pound title in Bellator at some point. Would it mean more to you to try and go up and get that second belt and hold both? Or would you prefer to, you know, have your run at middle late and then separate them? Well, first John Salter uh, and then uh, we go for after that. You know, uh, the landscape of MMA, I have to see what's going to happen. I, I, yeah, saying uh, I, I'm not, I don't give, care that much about two belts. I just need to win my fights. But yeah, if they give me, why not? I take it. Donna? Gegard, you've beaten 11 world champions now. 
Where does Douglas Lima rank amongst those great fighters that you have beaten in your career? Top, top three, especially because he's in his prime. This guy is in his prime, 31, uh, won the welterweight, beat the great welterweights. He's the champion for Riza, tournament champion. So beating him in his prime, uh, yeah, you could say it's definitely up there in the top three of my victories. Are you... Do you think right now, if you were to fight, obviously it's not a possible fight, you could beat Israel Adesanya? Yeah, yeah listen, uh, everything, uh, but it's not even it's not on my radar because he's in UFC, I'm with Bellator, so it's, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Lenny? Lenny, your line, Lenny, your line is now live. Sorry about that. How, how's it going, Gate God? How are you? Congrats on a uh, good performance. Uh, oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so you regained the, uh, the belt back tonight and you lost that against uh, Rafael Lovato Jr. Before he had to retire before, uh, uh, due to medical reasons. Would that have been the one you would like to run back b before he retired? Yeah, you know, I lost before. I move on. Um, wish him the, uh, the best. He's a nice guy, you know. Uh, unfortunately for him, his career ended. Uh, I could have won that fight, so uh, it was my fault. I was sleeping the fifth round and he got the victory. Uh, so, yeah, I could have, you know, uh, but I'm not losing sleep over it. Uh, you know, I move on. Uh, that's fighting, you know. Yeah, your opponent tonight, Douglas Lima, was stepping up from 170, 170 pounds, but he looked in great size. You know, he looked like uh, the same size as you physically in there. How did he feel uh, inside the cage tonight? I felt strong. Um, he, he looked as a big welterweight. It was, a, it was a, the same size as me, so... There's no way people can say I beat a smaller guy. That was a full-size middleweight. So, um, yeah, you know, he's in his prime. So I, I take a lot of pride in this victory because that's a guy beating him in his prime. Uh, and he's the champion. So uh, it's a great win for me. We have time for one or two more here. Kevin. Hey, Masasi, congratulations on the victory again. Uh, this is the second time you stopped a uh, champion from a uh, weight class under you coming up to uh, challenge for the uh, your your weight class's belt. Um, like, are you uh, are you happy enough to say that? Hey, this is a message to all the future welterweight champions: don't come up uh, and challenge me for the belt when I, when I'm in this division. No, nah, because listen, the guy was the same size as me. He was he had a whole year to gain weight, and uh, so he didn't look small at all. You have Kevin Gaslam, you have uh, Kevin Gaslam, Whitaker, who are welterweights and they're championship material. So it's weight doesn't make you a winner, you know, five pounds. Maybe I got two, three pounds over him. That's not going to get me the win. I, I won because I was the more technical fighter. Darren? Congratulations on, uh, can you hear me okay? Okay, great. Congratulations on tonight's great fight and all that. When you have a great victory like this, what do you usually do to celebrate? Is there a meal that's your go-to? Well, at this moment, my leg hurts. So I'm going to walk with crutches, I think. So <laughs> there's no celebration tonight. Uh, maybe with my friends in the hotel room and not sleeping that much. So. All right. Thank you for the time, Gay Guard. No problem. Thank you. We'll be joined shortly by Scott Coker.